welcome back to the next episode of Arrakis Central. So, some more Dune news today. So, HBO allegedly or apparently announced that Dune Prophecy, the prequel show that's coming out in November, is going to have the actual HBO moniker or title, so to speak. Similar to shows such as Game of Thrones and all these other shows, you know, uh, going all the way back to Sopranos and all that. They'll have the actual HBO label on it. So that's very interesting. That means they are very invested in the show and they think it's going to do very well. And so far, everything we've seen from the trailers, it does look good. Um, even though it looks semi-loosely based on Sisters of Dune, the book, which I'm pretty familiar with, uh, I, I still think it looks pretty good and pretty close to it. So some of the things like this movie web is, uh, is reporting is Dune Prophecy moved to the, from Max to the HBO, signaling a shift towards uh, prestige television for the series. HBO aims to establish Dune as the next big franchise. So they're they're thinking they're moving in, folks. I, I, I've I've been saying this for a while that HBO Warner Brothers they need to double down on Dune. Uh, they smell blood in the water. My personal opinion is that. Other major franchise are slacking. Okay, we have uh, uh, Marvel Studios, lackluster, horrible, right? Star Wars with their latest show, Acolyte. My personal opinion, people might like it. I think it's a complete disaster for Star Wars. That's a different video altogether. Uh, so Disney, Star Wars is failing. Uh, Marvel's failing. Star Trek, of course, I've said in a I love Star Trek and I wish it was better, but. It's also a failed franchise at this point. And I believe these studios are starting to see that uh, trend and they're doubling down, keeping Dune more grounded. Okay, they're going to keep it more grounded in that Denny Villeneuve style as what the trailers kind of show. And I think if they do that, they're going to have a big hit on their hands. Of course, Funcom, which I've shown many videos about, are going to bring out Dune uh awakening the large scale mmo survival mmo which is supposed to come out you know maybe possibly next year we don't know yet there's no release date on that but it looks like dune is going to be here to stay the rumors are it's being pushed forward in production they threw a bunch of money at denny villeneuve this is all rumor and speculation but this is what's being reported that he is you know, they're trying to get him to make that movie sooner than later. Doom Prophecy could possibly be that uh, that science fiction version of Game of Thrones we've always needed and wanted. But we'll see what happens. So, it's going to offer new material for fans, shedding light on the origins of the Bene Gesserit. Yes. So that's what Sister Sister of Dune is basically. It goes beyond that if you get in the Balearian Jihad stuff. But, I mean, yeah, it, that's... For, for, for normies out there, they're not really going to know all that unless they read the books. Very interesting times. Dune Part 2 had a huge box office. Uh, it's home video, which people are not paying attention to. The streaming and the Blu-ray sales killed it, apparently, which a lot of sites were reporting as well. Uh, it was killing it on digital digital purchases. And I'm probably partly to blame for that since I bought like four or five copies of the dang thing. But <laughs> that's a different story. But let me know what you think in the comments. Uh, I mean, uh, this is maybe for most people, this is not a big deal. Okay, it's just we want to see the show. We don't care. But being having that HBO moniker pretty much puts it up there at the level of all these other shows out there. And I think that's kind of a big deal for me. But let me know what you think. And I will see you next time.